Before we get into the video, I need you guys to do me a favour. Number one, like the video. Also comment, let me know your thoughts on the story. UK rapper Aldi or Scribs did not care about being a rapper or establishing a music career that could change his or his family's life. Now Scribs, who is part of Brixton 67, along with the likes of Itch, Dimsy, ASAP, is said to be part of rappers that started the UK drill sound as we know it, along with the likes of Styx, M Dog from M50, and Biz, Lats, and Mizzlemack and Lowski from Harlem Spartans. There was part of a small group that established UK drill sound. In a genre where rappers are so descriptive, describing the crimes, it's no surprise that rappers feel like they're targeted and besieged by the Mets. So, back in 2014, Scribs was given conditions and restrictions on what he could do as an artist because the Met deemed him responsible for promoting gang life and further fueling the post Cold Wars. Now, Scribs first gained national attention when he released the song Life Corn. At the time, he was known as a dealer whom had all the tools to feed clientele. Scales, Ziploc bags, burner phones, Lycra SIM card, clink foam and runners. The only issue is Scribs, whose real name is Casil Nye Akwe Water Ofe, linked himself to his own criminal organisation, along with other members of 67. Now 67 as a whole was so popular that they were nominated for Mobile for Best Newcomers back in 2016. This was despite the fact that the Met had called 67 a criminal gang in public. In order to ensure 6-7 could not thrive, police even cancelled 6-7's first headline shows and also their scheduled UK tour. They could only come out as surprise guests for the likes of Skepta, Heady One and other artists and that was to do one song and then leave straight away. The Met told 6-7 and also venue holders and organisers that they were a risk to the general public by performing and how they surmised that the rise in crime could inflate by 10-15% to at any one of their shows. This would be the same year that Aldi's restrictions would also come to an end. Now Aldi would then release probably one of the best UK drill songs titled Wicked and Bad, which has amassed over 4.4 million views on YouTube and is still climbing in numbers. Then in 2017 he was hauled in front of a judge and told that he must serve 6 months after being caught with a blade. So, when Aldi was released, it was at that point that he was officially on the Mets radar, as the police now had evidence that some of their assumptions were correct. There was a correlation between Aldi's lyrics and Scribs' lyrics and his real life. So in March of 2019, Aldi and ASAP, both members of 67, were stopped in a Mercedes in Basingstoke, Hampshire. Police cuffed the two men, read them their rights, detained them, told them to step out of the vehicle, and it was searched. Sniffer dogs were also called in. A mobile phone was recovered. It was opened up and messages were scanned and interpreted. Police said that the phone found was linked to a significant dealing line called the Aussie line. Police also found two additional SIM cards that were responsible for the Baz and Joey line. By using registration plate recognition, police were able to find out that the Mercedes had made repeated travel plans from London to Basingstoke, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and at the same time the sims were activated and bulk messages were sent. The line dealt with Class A gear, H, and also Coke. Police say that LD and ASAP were the main holders of these lines and of course profited the greatest. Both LD and ASAP also had price dating back to 2013 for dealing. They both pled guilty. Now, Aldi and ASAP were sentenced to four and a half years. They were also banned from having any unregistered SIM cards for eight years. While in HMP, Aldi was interviewed by both Complex and Daz and also Vice. In those interviews, Aldi explained that he was an innocent man. He was set up by the Met and they used his previous stealing offences against him. And they also used his name and his celebrity to paint a skewed picture of him and his mates. In the interview, Aldi also explained that despite the fact that he could not tour, he had been making music money for years. Now while inside he was playing chess, reading and consuming music and also gearing up for his release. 
and then after serving half his sentence, LD was released in November of 2021. But again, it would be a short run because of course the rapper would get in trouble once again and this time it would be the biggest trouble of his life. Now people thought when Aldi was released, he was going to change his ways. He released the song First Day Out and in the song he had audio of a conversation he had with his mum. In the conversation he described reading the Bible and it seemed like his mum was so proud of him. Aldi then appeared on Plugged In and he also appeared on the Daily Doppy series. However, LD could not get out of that street mentality and all it took was for LD, Mental K and Bams to take a GUN into a club in September of 2022 and according to rumours, 6-7 were escorted from the club by security after bumping into rivals. Of course, security guard was struck and it was said that LD pled guilty to attempted M. And since this, no one has heard of LD since. Only a few pictures of him chilling in HMP has surfaced, and to be fair, it seems like he's in good spirits. Even if he wasn't, he probably wouldn't let you know anyway, because at the end of the day, LD, rather than be a rapper and make legit music money, he'd rather be a GM and potentially ruin the rest of his life. For what? Stay safe. Safe.